In this tutorial you'll learn about um, stratified sampling in geography. Sampling is a way of best representing a parent population. Um, you cannot sample every part of a parent population. Um, you don't have time. So sampling allows you to get a uh, representation of that parent population. So you would use stratified sampling when you want a fair representation of the population. So consider this example. Here you have a population of 12 people and uh, the white people up here are the young people. Um, then you have the um, group of people who are um, middle in age and then you have elderly people here. Um, let's say you can't access all 12 people so you want a fair representation from each group. Um, you've got three young people here so you would choose um, one person for your sample and three elderly people you would also choose one person for your sample. Your middle aged group here they are larger and have a fair representation there's six of those you would take two from each group and this is called stratified sampling getting a fair representation of the population. You can also use stratified sampling when you have um, an environment with different features and you want a fair representation of the environment. Let's start with looking at the problem of random sampling first. If you were to do random sampling um, in this area here, wet areas and dry areas, um, you may end up through random sampling only sampling these places here. And of course you would miss out all of that data from the wet areas. So we use stratified sampling instead and you would ensure that within your study areas you would have a fair representation of both environments, let's say six in each one. And in this final example um, we use stratified sampling when the environment changes. Um, in this case the geology has changed along this river which is running from A to B and it would be unwise just to collect your data in the chalk geology or the clay. You want an even representation of all three areas. So let's say you do two sample points in chalk and the shale is the longest part so let's say six there and clay um, slightly shorter so three there and this should hopefully give you a better representation of all three areas. Stratified sampling works best when you've got categories of data.